guys, y'all. This is Hendrix, and we went side by side. My name is Sam. We have Hendrix here. We have Alessio in the front, Evan. We have strapped the baby into the side by side. We are going into a three hour adventure in the desert. So we're really excited. We got the GoPros, we got everything. Alessio and just we just to want to make you guys travel through our vlog. So join us Where's and you? let's see some crazy epic scenery. All right, so we just wanted to brief you before we keep going with this video. Yes, we did strap our four month old to a side by side. And now we just wanted to do a little disclaimer here because we strapped him, but uh, he was in a car seat and we did pat his head kind of like racer style, right? Like racer. Yeah, so his neck was supported, his contour of the head was supported. Um, we were actually driving really, really, really slow in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, not more than 20, 25 kilometers an hour, which is about 10 to 15 miles an hour, 17 miles an hour, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's really not fast. Uh, the road was really smooth. The desert like road was really smooth yeah. at that time. So we took it really slow. Uh, we made sure that all the back of the neck was supported. Yeah. The side of the heads were supported, like I said. And uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah. and so he, he was strapped in, yeah. Yeah, so he's strapped, he has a five point harness in his seat, and then he has also the, the seat point. belt that three was over, harness, yeah. it's a three point on him? No, or five point on him, and oh, then yeah, a and three, then point three point on five. him. Yeah, so he was really well strapped, nothing was moving, plus just the seat itself wouldn't move, like if we just put it in the side by side, it was exactly the length of the seats, so it wouldn't like shift or move or anything. So. We felt confident as parents, we did sign a waiver. So this is just a disclaimer to say that we are responsible for our actions. It was our choice. We thought that he was safe and he was safe. And so we were going slow as Evan said, and this was his initial reaction. show you guys the whip of the day 
I am as happy as they can be. I've been dreaming to do this so bad. This is all I've been wanting to do since we've been on this trip. It's my dream to be able to do this every single day, just in the middle of the desert, walking in our flip flops, in this badass toy. And the best part about it is like Samantha's been saying and showing you guys, hopefully, is that yeah. a four month old baby is strapped in a side by side while we're ripping through these trails. And he's sleeping. All right, as you guys just saw, the baby was completely fine. He actually fell asleep, believe it or not. Don't ask me how, but he fell asleep yeah. more than twice. He is the ultimate baby. Um, yeah, he he is. It. He didn't complain once, didn't whine once, didn't yeah. even, it was incredible. We stopped mm. a few times, just check him out, take him out. Uh, we, yeah. we looked at the scenery, looked like you guys saw. Uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, surprised us about Hendrix on this little desert yeah. uh, Baja ride, which surprised me, which surprised Samantha. And at this point, um, we have a little, a couple of negative things that happened. Yeah, like on, little, little bumps on the ride that happened to us. So we realized, we quickly realized. So, first explain one, to them, like, well, so when we start this Baja ride, the only thing they give you is a satellite, satellite. phone, and they give you a GPS uh, on an iPad that's already charged and they give you uh, an external battery charging pack yeah. just in case the iPad dies. So as we continue going through the desert, we realized that the iPad was dying quickly. Um, he and said, it was about 4.30 at this point. So yeah. we had left at around two o'clock and this whole trip was supposed to take about three hours, three yeah. and a half hours. And we also realized we were behind time because we had taken so much time like to go sightseeing slow. and we were going slow for the baby so we realized we weren't even halfway done so we had to kind of pick up the pace luckily our baby was doing great so we just picked up the pace but then we realized that our battery was draining really fast so uh, since I was looking at the GPS in the back I said well Evan put it on the battery pack which we quickly realized that the battery pack was not functioning because it had a hundred percent battery but it was not charging the iPad and at this point we had about I think nine percent so it had nine percent when she yeah. passed me the iPad I plugged it in by the time I gave it back to her we were down on like six or five percent yeah literally the Sun goes down here about like 630 max yeah. uh, the when place you're in, closed at five the place closes at five when you're in the desert things get really cold we didn't have sweaters so we had to pick up the pace and kind of uh, be quick on our reaction because uh, if we continued going slow, that means we would have been late, caught in the cold, the baby would have been cold, Alessia would have been cold. So it would have like turned out to a little bit yeah. of a disaster. So when you're watching the footage of, of us in the GoPro, especially like the POV on my top, you'll notice there's like a little section here that you guys will see in the next video. You'll see a red wire. There was a plug in the back. Yeah. So which means that since Alessio was sitting in the front and Samantha was in the back with the baby, Alessio wasn't really able to pay attention to the map because it's really, really quick yeah. moving. Um, so I was kind of, handling both driving paying yeah. attention to everything and trying to pay attention to the map you'll see me looking down a few yeah. times like trying to make sure that we're in the right direction so we just wanted to brief you about what happened because so, we obviously didn't take the time to talk because of all these things that were happening so here you go so keep on watching the clips and you'll see us getting back to where we had to go and actually in the city to Toro Santos to, uh, gas, up. to gas up and fuel up and go back to uh uh, what's Black Sheep called? Motorsports. So go back to Black Sheep Motorsports. Go back to Black Sheep Motorsports. And, uh, <laughs> go back to Black Sheep Motorsports. Go back to Black Sheep Motorsports. <laughs> go back to Black Sheep Motorsports. While you motorboat your butt. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we gassed up and then went back to Black Sheep Motorsports. And then we gassed up and went to back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just take mine. Hi guys.
Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Hi guys. It's okay. driving into the city of Todos Santos in Mexico, which is incredible. It's yeah. a lifetime dream, as you guys saw in one of the clips, of me explaining that it's been one of my dreams to actually ride in the desert. Not only ride in the desert, but be with my family and my two kids and a four-month-old baby that actually like killed it and didn't even say anything about it and loved it. He actually is watching me edit this video as we speak, and he's got big smiles on his face watching the videos of him jumping yeah. around in, in, in the, the yeah. in the side by side. So uh, 
crazy experience, amazing experience for us. Yeah, Hope you guys it. enjoyed it. Anything you want to say to them? No, we loved it so, so much. It was so much fun. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are up to 1870, so 1,870 yep. subscribers. We're going up finally. We're out of our 1840 rut, which we were in, and we can only thank you guys for that. Our goal is to get to 2K right now, so we appreciate every single subscriber. Help we us love get you guys. there. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So we love you guys. Thank you for like commenting subscribing and comment in this video if you guys like this new style of us uh of like, editing we um, talk in between and brief you guys like do you like do you guys like that do you find it makes it more personal uh do you guys like it better when evan just edits just the whole way through the action or do you guys like us kind of like talking in between yeah. and whoever made it till the end of the video we know your thoughts are going to really count and matter so if you're one of the real ones watching all the way to the end comment let us know that you watched till the end or even that the fact that uh, you guys want to give your input on the style of editing that uh, was used with this video. Smell good. I didn't even brush my teeth yet. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, thank you guys. We'll be back with another video shortly. Love you.